as we take a look at the bronchial tree, we actually begin here at the larynx. You notice how this model has the top part, the larynx, up to the part of the cricoid cartilage and then it becomes the trachea and the bronchial tree. So let's just kind of walk through how air will move through these structures and then take a closer look at them as we can explore them. So at first we'll take a look at the larynx and remember that the larynx is essentially known as the voice box created out of cartilage. And so we have four different cartilages, actually five, sorry, five different cartilages that uh, our class has a responsibility of knowing. And the first one is the largest, most prominent thyroid cartilage. And this would be the thyroid cartilage coming to a point at what we call the laryngeal prominence. So this is the laryngeal prominence, kind of makes up your Adam's apple. Uh, so if you have a very, very large or sharp one, that's, the, that's it right here. Right below it is the completely circular kind of cricoid cartilage, as you can see, extends beyond behind it as well, all the way behind, uh, creating a complete circle. Uh, and that would be the thy the cricoid cartilage that's here. Uh, below that, it would be this large, this one here. As you can see, this is what we call the arytenoid cartilage. It looks like a little A, it's number denoted as number four. So that's arytenoid cartilage attaches to some vocal folds. And then right at the top is what we call the corniculate cartilage. Uh, so these are the different structures here. Uh, you can imagine if we kind of split it, we will see a repeat of many of the structures we'll see on the half head. But as we kind of take a look here, notice how this is uh, structures that we'll find. Again, the epiglottis. And here, this is the epiglottis that will essentially be a switching mechanism to prevent food from going into the larynx or into the trachea. So here is the epiglottis the thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage and the arytenoid of course and the corniculate here. In here as well as we also see the slit of the glottis and then above it is the ventricular folds being the or ventricular folds covering over the false vocal cords and then here's the vocal fold covering over the true vocal cords. Behind that or below that would essentially be the larger and longer tube of what we call the trachea. So this would be the trachea you can see it's just a continuation of the tube uh, or essentially the conductive airways as many people would describe it. So this is the trachea and then it first branches and ends at what we call the primary bronchus. We have two, one right and left primary bronchus. Uh, once these begin to split and split again, we change their name. And so as the left side goes and left side will only have two, it splits into two, one, two, secondary bronchi, and then of course continue on as it branches again to tertiary bronchies, tertiary, and then these become all bronchioles, 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 bronchioles. And then as you continue to split, we'll split more and more times into more bronchioles. On the right side, we have actually a three secondary bronchioles because we have three lobes of the lungs. One, two, and then three. Uh, you'll notice that three secondary bronchi, and then the rest tertiary, of course, and then bronchioles at the top. So let's just kind of walk through again what we find in here. We find the larynx having the five different type of cartilages. Larynx. So this would be the thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. Behind it would be the arytenoid cartilage, corniculate cartilage, and of course the epiglottis. Following in there we'll find the glottis itself. As you can see, the glottis is the little slit, and then the ventricular fold and vocal fold covering over the false vocal cords and the true vocal cords. And then we continue on into the larger tube of the trachea. Trachea splits into the right and left primary bronchus. Primary bronchus split into secondary bronchus, two on the left side, three on the right, one, two, three. And then after that comes tertiary bronchi, tertiary, two, and then bronchioles, and then bronchioles will split into more bronchioles until the end of the terminal bronchioles.